we have Sean Tabrizi discussing the gift secret. Sean? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Phil. Um, first, uh, I want to say uh, hi to everyone. And wow, like today has been a packed day. I mean, I'm looking at the schedule right now. There was that keynotes all about parachains, light clients, bridges, smart contracts, ton of ecosystem stuff. I mean, all these different builders. It's like, I don't, if you've been following along and you're not sweating, uh, geez, good for you. Um, also, big shout out to Bill. I mean, Bill has been such a crazy host. Like, I'm seeing like Bill, you're actually forming a small cult inside of chat. So, if you're part of the Bill cult, definitely uh, type Bill in the chat. Um, but that, you've been awesome host, um, and so I'm really glad uh, to be here at the end of the day. Um, yeah, today I'm going to be sharing with you um, the gift secret, or basically this idea of like polka dot gifts. Um, and so, what is it? So, uh, Polkadot Gifts is basically a web application built on top of Polkadot, which makes it as easy as ever to be able to send dots to your friends and family um, who may not even have a Polkadot account yet. Um, we all know that like, Polkadot is one of the most advanced blockchain platforms out there, but you know, to be honest, you know, we still have quite a way to go before um, we make it dead simple and easy for new users to onboard. And so, the goal of Polkadot Gifts is to try to provide a dedicated and streamlined experience um, to connect existing dot holders. Um, to uh, uh, be able to transfer to new accounts, new users of the network. And really, there's no better time to set something like this up than now, because we have uh, auctions announced. We have all these crowd loans that um, we want people to participate in. We have um, the holiday season. Like, you know, sending DOT as a gift is really, there's no better time than now to do it. Um, and we want to show you kind of how easy it is to use Polkadot GIFs. Um, and it's really as simple as kind of one, two, three. So I'll be walking through all of the steps here and kind of showing you how you can uh, create a gift and, you know, share kind of the, the dot love to your friends and family. Okay, so I'm going to start on the main homepage uh, where we're able to generate a new gift. And you can see here, I can simply click send a gift. Um, in order to send a gift, of course, I need to have some dot to begin with. Um, I can connect a ledger or parity signer, but I'll be using Polkadot extension to start with. And then I can select my account, connect, and I can type some information. So this recipient is sub zero and the amount I'll be sending five dot. Okay, so I click next. And then basically I can confirm of the details of what I'm about to send. Um, I'm gonna store this secret in a safe spot. Um, I'll be storing it here. This is, by the way, you don't, don't actually do what I'm doing here. Obviously this is not very safe on a, on a, public, on a public video chat, but let's go ahead and have some fun anyway. And then I'm going to sign this message. Okay, so now I'm going to be generating a gift on Polkadot. And then you can see after the gift is generated, um, we have this nice little message. We can copy the message and we can send it to our friends and family based on whatever we want. So whether it be you know, a text message, send a you know, direct message, um, even an email, um, or even if you want to print out this um, this kind of message or, you know, create your own message and um, give it as a gift, you can do that too. Um, but basically, once you have this, you're ready to go ahead and send the gift. Um, once the user has received the gift, let's imagine now I've received this awesome gift. I'm going to follow this link to claim. Okay, connects to Polkadot. Okay, so um, of course you can connect an existing account. So if you have a, already have an account with a Polkadot extension or Parity Signer, um, or even if you want to enter an address manually, if you don't, you don't even have to connect your account to this to be able to receive the gift, you can go ahead and do that. But for our um, scenario, we're going to be imagining that I need to create a brand new account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new account. Um, and of course, again, don't do as I uh, am doing, you know, do what I say here, which is that you should be saving this account, um, kind of back it up in an offline method, usually write it down on a piece of paper. Um, but of course, for this example, I'm just going to make things a little bit simple. I'm going to be copying and pasting this um, so I have access to it later. Okay. And then um, I've stored it in a safe space. Obviously, don't do what I'm doing, but uh, I'm sure you all can follow the best practices of uh, saving a new key. Um, and I'm going to verify, of course, that I have backed it up. So word one is mix. Word nine is output. Okay, let's verify the phrase. And then, of course, we can create a JSON backup. So um, you don't have to, you know, type in this uh, seed phrase every time you want to use your account. You can actually just create a JSON backup. So this is um, gift example. And then I can have this JSON backup, which then can be easily imported into things like the Polkadot.js apps or the, um, the browser extension. And of course, I'm going to now copy my gift code, basically a nice little code, claim the gift. Ooh, and someone may have already snatched it from underneath me. That's perfectly fine. Um, 
But basically, yeah, once you've claimed your gift, um, actually, I have, and I, I prepared for this, actually. I have another gift secret, which uh, I've written down, just in case someone was going to steal it from me. Um, one, four, nine, five, three, nine, six, four, four, oh, nine, five, one, eight, eight, yeah. That's good, though. You all, you, all are, you all are paying attention here. But I'll be transferring the gift to my account. And then, of course, now I have this gift into my new account. I can see the account here. Okay. Yep. And this uh, account seed is also available. So uh, the next person to cite that one can also have it too. But yeah, basically, you can see here, it's really, really dead simple and easy to be able to invite new users to be able to um, get dot. You know, they don't even need to have an existing account. You can go ahead and create a gift and um, share it with your friends and family. So what's happening in the background? So let's make sure that people don't feel afraid that someone else typed my gift. Obviously, if I'm doing everything public, you know, this is going to happen. But what's happening in the background, basically, is that um, when we create a new gift um, and we generate this gift secret, this code, we're actually creating a brand new Polkadot account. Um, and that code actually represents the private key to that account. And so when you generate that account, only you, the person who created the gift, and the person who you send the gift to will have that key. So you will both be in control of basically like a middle account. Um, once you've shared the gift and the user claims the gift, they, of course, will go through the process of creating their own brand new account. And they will go ahead and um, claim that and move those funds from the middle intermediary account into their own account, which, of course, you or no one else should have access to except that user. So for a little bit of time, we have this intermediate account where both people can have control. And then we can permissionlessly allow people to transfer the funds out of that account into their own custom account. And basically, the idea around all of this is that um, using this method, one, we don't have to use any custom palettes or any custom logic. Two, it's completely permissionless, trustless, and secure. And if your friend doesn't doesn't claim the gift for whatever reason, you know they didn't they didn't want to use it or they couldn't you know they they you know they um didn't get your message, you can always go back check the gift and because you have access to that gift secret, you can always you know return the gift to yourself. And so basically, the idea here is that you know you can go ahead and invite users into the Polkadot ecosystem in a really easy way um, and use the um, the gift app. Um, yeah, so we have, um, just go to gifts.polkadot.network. We also have one for Kusama at gifts.kusama.network. And you can go ahead, of course, if you have a substrate-based blockchain or if you're doing any, um, you know, kind of parachain, again, because we don't use any pallets, because this is kind of, you know, uh, kind of an abstract concept for any substrate chain, you can go ahead and actually even fork this repository and build this entire end-to-end um, -end experience on, uh, on your blockchain as well. And so... Um, that is it. I hope uh, you all had a really great uh, first day, and I'll be taking any questions um, if there are any. I wonder uh, if anyone you, already Sean. got that uh, account. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I don't know if anyone has admitted that they were the ones who uh, who took the dot. Who they were, they were quite me? fast yeah. on the. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm prepared. I this was this, that was the whole the 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 whole goal of this actually end to end was to was to um to give away two gifts here for myself. So you're welcome to both of you all. Okay. Um, yeah, so we uh, actually don't really have uh, uh, any questions uh, for you, uh, but I think that uh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was a yeah, it was a really really oh. great presentation. Uh, I guess I'll mention this. You know, um, we uh, we can see the activity of gifts and people using gifts, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if you might see some um, airdrops or some other types of you know small rewards or something like that given to people who are able to um you know give gifts to um to other people and get those users to actually use the network so you know things like giving a gift to your friends and family and having that user vote in the next democracy people will even vote right now to accept the new the next auctions in democracy those kinds of um behaviors we can actually see on chain right and so um you know i wouldn't be surprised if we uh, we keep an eye on that and uh find a nice way to reward those who um grow the community oh interesting uh we actually yeah. did get um uh, uh, some questions. Uh, first, uh, will this work with state mine assets? Yeah. So again, this is, um, so actually, uh, we actually use this exact same platform recently to do, um, to help facilitate an NFT giveaway on Kusama. I'm not sure if uh, people are familiar with that, but actually what happens in the background here is that we will check um, in the gift account, you can fill it up with any NFTs, fill it up with any state, um, like um, statement assets, um, or any um, you know native tokens. And when you actually submit the, when you actually go to claim the gift, all of those different tokens will all be transferred to the to the next account. So we'll actually batch in one transfer all of the NFTs, all the things. So you can imagine filling this gift box with a bunch of different cool things, and then sending that over. Great. Uh, so one other uh, question. To, wow, we're actually getting lots of questions now. I guess it just took time for people to, to type. 
Um, so when, when you uh, actually do the GIF, what, what will you see on chain? Will you see the transfer to this intermediary account and then a second transfer? Or so yeah. how would you I mean, notice honestly, a GIF? Yeah, nothing here is super magical. Um, what we're looking to do to notice a GIF specifically is that we're actually looking, we're planning on having a remark attached to this website. So when you submit a GIF, we might have a remark that says, hey, this is a GIFT, which can identify basically a GIFT versus other kinds of normal transfers. Um, and that's just, and that's just a hint. Obviously, you know, nothing is, uh, you know, hundred percent known. We're not actually tracking any data. So one thing to know is that this website is completely stateless. So we have no information about who creates gifts, what gifts, you know, you amount to whatever, all that kind of stuff, other than the fact that, you know, there's some kind of hints on chain, um, and, and any public way that, you know, we normal. Um, and then, uh, of course, you know, we, we can take a look at that history and see kind of what the users who received the gift did or, you know, whatever. Again, there's, there's no, there's no promises here, but, uh, you know, I'm just saying that this is something that, that we would love to help encourage you and your friends and families to go ahead and actually give gifts. Uh, okay, uh, another question. Uh, is it possible to set an expiration time uh, for the gift? Um, unfortunately, currently, no, um, because we don't use any custom like palettes or anything like that, and because the companies are completely stateless. Obviously, we can't, you know, um, track and you know automatically rescind a gift. But you know what you can do is um, you can of course put a reminder for yourself and of course hold on to that gift secret and then um, get rid of it after a certain amount of time. Um, but yeah, I mean these these kinds of secondary types of automation that can definitely be programmed on top of the blockchain. But um, you know we're, we're not providing any of that right now. What we want to do is keep a very clean, streamlined, and safe system for users to use. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much, Sean. That was a really uh, cool presentation uh, and a very rewarding one for uh, some people out there that were <laughs> yeah, able to uh, users out there. Yeah, grab, exactly. grab the gifts. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, th th again, thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you also for uh, having a, a bunch of getting people to write Bill a bunch of times in the chat. I appreciate <laughs> it. You earned that one, Bill. Okay. See you. Yeah, thanks.